Hi everyone, it's Paul Bertarelli reporting from the U.S. Sport Aviation Expo 2016 in Sebring, Florida, where one of the most interesting things we saw on opening day was this. This is the Merlin PSA. It's a single seat experimental for now, but it may one day become an LSA. It's Chip Irwin to talk about it. Well, the Merlin is a uh, late sport aircraft, class aircraft. It's actually experimental amateur built but it fits inside the light sport aircraft box, so you can fly it with a light sport aircraft license and without a medical. It is a single seat aircraft, but uh, the prices of aircraft uh, go up exponentially with a number of seats. So we're able to offer this aircraft um, at a much more economical price. Uh, the base price is uh, $34,000, and that's, that is a complete aircraft. You do build it, but you build it with uh, our help and in our facility over a two week period, and that's included in the price along with everything else, a basic panel, uh, in, um, the en engine and the propeller, and it's a flying aircraft after a couple of weeks. It's a really, it's made uh, with modern technology, it's a 3D uh, design software, so that goes right into the machines that punch out the holes, and the holes actually match at a finished size, so there's very, very little work to do to put it together, and you still meet the 51% rule and you learn everything about uh, every system in the aircraft and every part of the assembly. So you meet the, not only the definition, but the intent of the rule for education. Uh, the airframe, the design came from the Czech Republic, a small company that uh, has very high technology with the machinery and the, uh, the, the software. And they make a lot of parts for many of the uh, uh, aircraft in Europe and some of the aircraft that are here at the show. And they, uh, using that technology and they came up with this aircraft, which is, uh, which of course they designed independently, but it's um, quite interesting to see a lot of uh, the sport cruiser and parrot mermaid in this design. Uh, and it's a cantilevered wing, it's very clean, it's a low coefficient of drag, so it takes very little horsepower. It would be perfect for electric power, which, which needs a lightweight and a clean design. And I have the engine mount and the cowl and the battery system and the controller and propeller and everything's ready to go now. Shortly I'll be testing it with electric power. And the goal is to fly a minimum of one hour, but um, on paper it looks like it could fly closer to two hours. The 582 is a well-proven uh, Rotax uh, two-stroke engine, and that, that, that installation is finished and, and been test flown and approved in, a, in a Germany and Czech Republic. So that's, that's really a done deal and um, a good alternative. And the power to weight ratio is about is, is, is exceptional, so it sets you back in the seat when it accelerates. Well, the avionics uh, for the $34,000 price is just your basic uh, uh, standard analog the flight instruments and fuel gauge and, and tachometer. Um, you can get just nearly anything for this. The way this airplane is equipped, it has a, a glass panel, EFIS and EMS, and um, the new TrueTrack Autopilot, as well as a, a Garmin GPS. and. So all that's possible, and then you're similarly equipped to other aircraft for about $100,000 less.